Hi friends. Just a quick video. Did y'all see Beyonce at Coachella? How was it? I liked it. Honey, Beyonce had me up until 3 o'clock in the morning waiting for her to come on stage. Actually, I hadn't heard anything about it. I didn't know Beyonce was performing at Coachella or nothing. But around midnight last night, I'm just scrolling through Facebook, and somebody wrote, yeah, Beyonce's going to be at Coachella. What the hell is she coming on? Or some shit. God damn, I just hit my ankle on something. Uh, Beyonce's gonna be at Coachella. What time is she coming on? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I said, oh, is she? Okay. So, I didn't think any more of it. I was just going about my normal Saturday night. And I have some good vlogs. I had a really great weekend. But, um, this will probably be up before that. But, I happened to be on Facebook again, and somebody had wrote that <laughs> Beyonce had started. And so I had been on YouTube, and I had saw where the live streaming was of Coachella. So I go on, put on Coachella or whatever. And uh, Beyonce was started, honey. She had a full probate going on. She had the sororities and the fraternities. Apparently, she sung the Black National Anthem. Now, I missed that part at the beginning. And I have seen where she walked out. I saw, I missed that at the beginning. Um, but she looked really good when she walked out. She looked really good. And, you know, all of my friends are such Beyonce fans. And it's not that I'm not a Beyonce fan. But she's going out on this new tour. And they all pay like $300 to get tickets to go see her. Honey, I just ain't paying. Th First of all, I've seen Beyonce one time. Live. And it was a good concert. But I don't feel like I'm going to pay uh, 300 to go see her again. And right now, at this time, she doesn't really ha even have a new album out. Um, although by the time the concert comes out, maybe she'll put out some new music. I don't know. But let me tell you, honey, she worked that thing out last night. And I kept sitting there. I'm sitting there drinking my little mocktail, smoking a cigarette. And I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, this is cute. Now, how long is it going to be? Baby, she she was on. I didn't realize, I guess, that she was the headliner. Honey, she was on there for every bit of two hours. And she went on. And she went on. And she sung all the good songs. I mean, she was in a mood, wasn't she? But I cut it on right when she had on the yellow. Uh, she was matching all the other sorority girls. And they was out there dancing. And I mean, just the orchestration of, of putting that whole show together. I mean, all of those people up in the rafters, the band. And, I mean, it was like being at, uh, like a, a HBCU college uh, tournament of bands or something. It was really good. And then, uh, so then Jay-Z comes out. And mind you, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. I gotta get up on Sunday morning, go work out, things to do. And... On the East Coast, it's 3 30, 4 o'clock. I'm like, how long is she about to be on? Come on, B, you got to move it right along, honey. Uh, then Jay Z comes out looking like a camel with that nappy ass hair. So, yeah, Jay Z came out and they did, uh, what's the song that uh, they first had together? Shit, I can't think of them song now. Crazy in Love. They did Crazy in Love. Y'all like my jacket. It's cute. Little tiger. This is the latest from Gucci, darling. <laughs> um, and it was cute, but I was not prepared. Nobody told me. Nobody told me that Kelly and Michelle was coming out. Oh, my goodness. I lost my shit then. Now, now, I've had different feelings about Beyonce over the years. And I always felt that they tried to push Beyonce out more when they all went solo. And that the other girls, especially Kelly, could be bigger than she is. But 
at the time, I think her father... Well, of course she would for your daughter. They really focused all their attention on Beyonce. And that's why she's a superstar she is now. But, uh, honey, I used to be the biggest Destiny's Child fan. Back when I was in middle school, uh, I loved me some Destiny's Child ever since they first came out. And when they popped up, I lost my shit. I was 4.30 in the morning screaming. In the living room, watching uh, watching them perform, and they did a really good job. I really liked it, and I've always been a fan of Michelle's. Even though people say, you know, people try and come for Michelle, she has her own little hashtag, poor Michelle. I've always been a fan of Michelle's. Honey, Michelle did it, baby. She broke out her little two step when they was doing Soldier. Uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed that. Then they bought Solange out. Now, I could have did without that. I, I don't really see what the point of that was. I guess it was cute. They was out there dancing, two sisters. Okay. Um, I said, and, and by that point now, I tell you, by that point, she had been on a good two hours. And I said, now, this is getting a little drawn out. I'm ready to go to bed. Let's wrap it up, girl. And so, um, uh, Solange came out, and I said, well, damn, they're going to bring the twins out next? Blue Ivy, who else is coming out? But uh, she really did good. It was the the blackest performance we've seen all year. I mean, it was awesome. I mean, I don't think of the white person on stage. It was really great. I mean, honey, the white people probably didn't know what to do. Because, you know, when I think of Coachella... I think of more, um, how do I say this? I think of white artists. I don't think of too many black artists. Or right, if you think of black artists, you think of black artists that kind of, you think of Solange. I think Solange has performed at Coachella. And even though Solange had a pretty good album last time around, you know, she still has kind of more of a, more of that, not a mainstream type of vibe, more of an indie type vibe or something. So, uh, those are the type of artists you think of at Coachella. You don't think of Beyonce, honey. Beyonce shut it down. It was good. I said this would be a quick video. I'm not going to keep running my mouth. It was great. It, it, I mean, it really was. She sung all of the hits. She ended with Love on Top. Uh, Kelly and Michelle came out there. They sung Soldier. They walked out. They looked good. Michelle's always been a little thin. She needs to, she needs to go on a, she needs to put some weight on. But that's neither here nor there. I didn't care for Kelly's hair. Kelly Kelly looked like she just rolled out of bed with that uh, old afro puff or whatever it was on top of her head. She could have did better on that front. Um, but no, it was really good. Um, Beyonce had uh, several outfit changes and that's when I started to realize that this was more than just a performance and she must have been the headliner because every time they would cut to some people dancing and she wasn't on stage or the band performing, I said, I'll be goddamn, this bitch done went to change outfits again. How long is this shit gonna last? But I really did enjoy it. It was good for, honey, for me to sit there for two hours at three o'clock in the morning and watch that bullshit. See, I didn't mean to call it bullshit because it wasn't bad. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, but for me to sit there and watch it for two hours, you know it had to catch my interest. So it was really good. Um, what I would like to see next year at Coachella is Rihanna. I haven't looked at the lineup. Is Rihanna performing this year? I don't know. Uh, don't come for me in the comments, but honey, if I had to pick between the two, you know, I, I like Riri. I like Beyonce. I don't have anything against Beyonce. I like her. But I'm more of a Rihanna fan. Honey, I'm waiting on Rihanna to put some new music out. I mean, where's it at? Speaking of which, Cardi B, this is all about Beyonce. But Cardi B's album, I really like it. It is so good. I gotta stay out of Gucci. I'm finna run out of hangers. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that's about it. I just wanted to come give you this quick video. My thoughts and reactions about Beyonce at Coachella. 
definitely a 10 out of 10 performance. This is one that will go down in the record books. She did an excellent job. She really did. Um, <laughs> at the end, her boots kept falling down. I thought that was funny. She even, like, stopped and pulled them up. Or she had somebody, she'd been down, somebody pulled them up for her. They fell right back down. But, uh, anyway, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure uh, it's on YouTube. Somebody has clips of it, maybe. I don't know. But, it was really good. 10 out of 10 to Beyonce. Hats off. Uh, I'm signing off. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.